Good morning, everyone. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing with you my bookshelf tour, but it is a special edition because it is my bookshelf while I'm at college. This obviously means I can't have as many books, but I brought as many as I could fit on this shelf. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Lena. I am a sophomore at St. Lawrence University. I am also a CA, hence why I'm wearing my CA uniform today. And if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. I would also like to give a shout out to the viewer who opened up her dorm window to say hi to me. I never anticipated in a million years that anyone would recognize me on campus. So if you're watching this video, just leave a comment down below if you'd like and we can connect. But thank you so much for saying hi to me. It really made my day. This is a side note, um, I'm editing right now, but I just wanna say since the day that I saw that girl open up her dorm room window, I've seen three more girls come to me and say how much they've enjoyed my videos. So thank you so, so much for watching. You know who you are. If you wanna comment, please comment down below. I would love to chat some more. Thank you so much for your support. And I can't believe that now four people have said they watch my YouTube videos. It kind of blows my mind. Oh, but without further ado, we're going to get to my video. So the top shelf of my bookshelf doesn't really have that many books, but we'll just start over here in this section. First book I have is Black Panther. This is the first book by Ta-Nehisi Coates. You might be wondering why I have a graphic novel in my room, and that would be because I took a class last year and we that was one of the things that we studied was the Black Panther movie, the Black Panther comic, etc. so forth. I bought it with my own money. Kind of expensive. I didn't know these books were that expensive, but I would give this book three out of five stars. And I think that's mostly because I'm not really into comics. The next book I have is Thick by Tressie McMillan Cotton. This is actually one of my books of the month that I got in the month of August. I've been wait wanting to get a book of essays for quite some time and the intersectionality of this book was really attractive to me because I think I will learn a lot. The next book I have on my shelf is The Death of Vivek Oji by, I'm gonna butcher this, but Akwake Amezi. Um, and I've heard really great things about this author. I've wanted to read them for a long time. And this is one of the top releases of August, I believe. It was an, also my book of the month. And this book just really focuses on family and friendship. I'm still working on the decorating of this shelf, but basically over here, I just have a journal, notebook, and a French dictionary for my class. This section of my bookshelf is books that I need for school. These two right here, Waveform and the Book of Delights, are for my creative nonfiction writing class. That's the first creative writing class I've ever taken or will take, but I'm excited to see what it brings. The next three books, Poe, Poe, and How to Interpret Literature, are for the required research class in my English literature major, which is centered around Poe. And this last book, which is L'Homme qui plante des arbres, is for my French class. I just have a little Cinderella here. She is my favorite princess and I just love her. She is so adorable. I believe my friend gave her to me for a birthday present. Now as we move on to here, this is my classic section. I apologize for the wacky lighting and shadows. The sun's rising right now. I'm filming this early in the morning. But our first book is Things Fall Apart by Ch Chinua Achebe. And I just barely finished this book. This is my most recent read. I would give it four out of five stars. The cultural immersion in this book is astounding and also the commentary on colonialism. The next book that's on the shelf is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. I would give this book five out of five stars. I have officially read it twice, once for on my own and then I read it this past spring for a class and the second read was way better than the first. It really spoke to me. And I just love Jane and Rochester's relationship. I know some people may say it's super unhealthy and toxic, but it, it didn't really come off that way to me, which could be concerning. The next book on this shelf is Light in August by William Faulkner. 
I believe I gave this book four out of five stars. I'll have to double check that, but I really picked this book up mainly because there was a character named Lena in it and also because I hadn't read any Faulkner at that point and I felt like I should because everyone said that you can start to get a better understanding of the South during this period. The next book is Native Son by Richard Wright. I actually read this book this summer, five out of five stars an incredibly brilliant novel. It is written, I believe, for white audiences and as a white person it really hit me and I learned so much and took so much out of it. I highly recommend this book, especially as someone who's trying to educate themselves about racism and prejudice, discrimination, all of those issues within our country. The next book is Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. I would also give this book 5 out of 5 stars. You might be wondering why I'm giving so many books such high ratings, and that is because I only bring the books to college that I actually really like. I read this book in 10th grade. Everyone else read the abridged version, but I have to say the unabridged is 10 times better. It's so much richer. I really love the musical. I'm a French major. The characters in this book are to die for. There's history lessons, philosophy lessons, you name it, this book has it. The next section with all this wacky lighting um, are my Barnes & Noble classics. So the one on the bottom is Middle March by George Eliot and I read this book because one of my English teachers said it was her favorite book and I gave this book five out of five stars. The sister relationships were just to die for in this book. Dorothea or Dorothea, however you say it, um, I was right there with her the whole time. I really got her. I loved the polite insults and passionate outbursts and the ending to this book was phenomenal. The next book is the book that started my Russian obsession, War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. I read this also for a class that was centered around Russian literature. Five out of five stars. The characters, the storylines, Russia, obviously, love it all. The next book is The Brothers Karamazov by Fyodor Dostoevsky. I give this book three out of five stars. It did take me nine months to read, so this might have cut down on my enjoyment. But I just really didn't like the characters and there was nothing in it for me. I felt like a lot of the philosophy and deeper meaning stuff went right over my head. The next book is Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy. I'm currently reading that novel right now and I'm really enjoying it. I, you can see my bookmark right there and hopefully I'll finish that within the next couple of weeks. And then the book on the top is Silas Marner. It is an awful edition. It's really beat up but I got to take it home from school because it was so beat up. I read it before I read Middle March, and this is just such a beautiful story. It reads quite like a fairy tale, and I gave this five out of five stars. Fun fact, my name was actually gonna be Silas if I was a boy, and I plan on naming my son Silas. The last book on the shelf that's really shadowed is Little Woman by Louise May Alcott. This was probably one of the first classics that I ever read. Um, if anyone was wondering, I am Meg March, and my sisters all sign themselves to the other characters, but I just love this book. I'm a sucker for sister books, especially sweet sister relationships, and this book has all of that. This next section is on my bottom shelf, and we'll start with Uprooted by Naomi Novik. I gave this book four to five stars, when I was reading War and Peace, Brothers Karamazov, and a bunch of other like Russian literature, I started reading more Eastern European and Russian-centered fantasy, so this is one of the books I read. Four out of five stars. I loved the world, the plot, and the main character. She was incredible. The next book is Wicked Lovely by Melissa Marr. I read this book in middle school, and it is a comfort book for me. I gave it five out of five stars. It just makes me feel good every single time I read it. Next book on the shelf is The Bear and the Nightingale. Again, this is part of my Eastern European Russian history obsession. I really want to buy the rest of the series. I've read books one and two. I can't get my hands on book three because it's always checked out of my library, but hopefully I can buy the rest of the series and continue to read it. This next book, The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. I actually read this summer and five out of five stars would recommend. Um, it's what real fantasy is. It was 
incredible. I have not read such a strong fantasy book in a while and it really upped the bar for me. Some more comfort books, the bottom three are His Fair Assassin trilogy. I also read these in middle school, five out of five stars, each and every single one of them. I read them um, with one of my best friends in middle school and we obsessed over them all. In case anyone's wondering, my favorite pair and favorite book is the first book, Ismay and Duval, love them. The next four books are the Lioness Quartet series or Song of the Lioness, whatever it is, which is all about Alana. I read this in elementary school. Not sure if it was appropriate for elementary school because I didn't understand a lot of it until I got older, um, but five out of five stars, another comfort series for me. This next section starts with On the Jellico Road by Melina Marchetta. I read um, her Finnegan of the Rock series first and loved it, so then I picked up this book and loved it just as much, five out of five stars. Um, I've read it twice and I really, if, the more you read a book, if you loved it the first time, you're gonna love it even more the second time, most of the time in my case. And I just love the relationships and the character development in this book. Also the To Kill a Mockingbird um, references were amazing. This book is There There by Tommy Orange. I actually read this last year in college and I would give this book four out of five stars. The writing in this book was incredible with the symbolism and imagery and all of that kind of stuff. Next book is Why We Broke Up, which has probably the most beautiful cover that I own and it's just full of gorgeous illustrations. This book makes me cry without fail every single time. Next book is Codename Verity by Elizabeth Wine. I've actually read every single one of Elizabeth Wine's books. This was the first book I read by her. I just really love historical fiction. I'm really looking forward to rereading it because I haven't read it since seventh or eighth grade, I think. Next book is The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. This is another sister book, five out of five stars. The history combined with the sister relationship and then the ending, wow, it just all got to me. I love this book so much. And I'm actually looking more into Kristen Hanna's novels. The next book is Half of a Yellow Sun by Chimimanda Ngozi Adichie. And I really need to read more of this author because I really liked this book a lot. I learned a lot, um, four out of five stars. I had never heard of Biafra in my life, which is honestly not okay, but I, after reading this book, I learned so much. Next section starts with Homegoing by Ya Gayasi. I read this for an assignment in my AP literature class. Another sister's book, Are We Surprised? I really liked the writing in this book, five out of five stars. Next book is Reading with Patrick. I actually went to a writer series where this writer spoke and I really loved her talk. It was really inspirational to me and it just combines some issues I'm really passionate about, education and reading. And the last book on the shelf is Stamped from the Beginning, The Definitive History of Racist Ideas in America by Ibram X. Kendi. Five out of five stars. You need to read this now to educate yourself on racists, assimilationists, anti-racists. It's a great read and I plan to start rereading it next month so I can start tabbing it. This next section is technically not on my bookshelf, but these books are really tall books, so they don't fit on my bookshelf. Starting with A Gentleman in Moscow by Amor Talis. Again, Russian obsession, what more can I say? I really liked this book, five out of five stars. It just, oh, so incredible. It did spoil Anna Karenina for me, but we're just not gonna talk about that. The one next to it is The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. This was another book of the month and I really, really enjoyed it. The discussion on colorism and racism and also the sister relationship was just incredible. This book is Courting Darkness by Robin Lefevers. This is the same author as the person who wrote His Fair Assassin. I really enjoy this series. It's a spinoff of the original series. I'm planning on getting the second book soon. Not as good as the original series, but I really enjoy it. The next book is Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. This book is a little controversial because people, it's not, I don't think it's actually that good of a book, but I read it last year in college when I really needed a book like this and it just has a soft spot on my heart now. I don't really think it's that high quality of a fantasy, but it just makes me feel good. The next book is Black Leopard, Red Wolf by Marlon James. This is also um, a great cover. Yeah, I love this cover. The colors and the illustrations are just incredible. This book was a little traumatic for me to read. It's definitely graphic and very adult, but I'm excited to read the rest of the series because the concept of it's the same story three times with three different narrators, two of whom are unreliable, is fascinating to me. 
And these last two books are part of the same series. They're actually French novels that have been translated to English, and I'm waiting on the third book to be finally translated. Um, A Winter's Promise and The Missing of Claire de Lune by Christelle Debeau. Love these books. I love Ophelia as a character. She might be one of my most recent favorite fantasy characters. So those are all the books that I brought to college. If you have any book recommendations, leave them down in the comments below, or if you've read any of these books, let me know. I plan to upload a first day of school vlog next, and thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give this video a like and subscribe, and I will see you all in a couple of days.